Speaking of good looking, let's head to the Mastercraft kitchen because I tell you what, uh, two good looking chefs and some great looking food. Boys, welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm joined by Luke and we're going to cook two fantastic recipes out of his new book, um, Eat Clean. So it's great. So what are we going to do today? Mate, I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys here. I'm going to bring a beautiful, easy recipe that you can all make at home, which is an easy green chicken curry that anybody can do. And I tell you what, that's the key to making healthy food choices, is when you can do it at home yourself. That's it, and it's so simple. I'm going to cook this for you right here on the show. We've got green chicken green curry and we've got cauliflower couscous now, and rice. that's a little bit different also because a lot of people pair their curries with a traditional rice. But what I want to do is showcase how you can use the humble cauliflower as your rice. And you could also use broccoli as well. Well, that's it, and it keeps it nice and healthy and tasty and somewhat different as well. Right, so we're going to start making the curry paste. Yep. And then come back a bit later and then we'll make this beautiful curry and this special cauliflower rice. Back over to you guys. Nice to have you with us on the cafe. We'll be talking with the award-winning director and the stars of the new show, Don Juan, shortly. I just wanted to say it like that. First, though, we are back in the Mastercraft kitchen with resident chef Mark Southern and training and food consultant to Angelina Jolie. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Luke Hines. Thank you, guys. It is great to be here across the ditch. Yeah, across the ditch. No, it's a pleasure to have you in here. Um, we're going to start cooking, and while we're we cooking, are. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Mate, I'm I love it. <laughs> Um, by the way, welcome. Um, people obviously refer to you as Angelina Jolie's, you know, trainer yeah. and, and yeah. helper. Um, does that get annoying after a while? Oh, look, it's okay because it was a pretty big part of my life. I bet. Yeah. Um, but along with that, uh, I'm an author. Mm -hmm. I'm also a healthy lifestyle advocate. And it's all about encouraging people to get back into the kitchen cooking with real food ingredients. And I think that's something we don't do enough of, right. is taking our health into our own hands with real food. Right, well, I want to learn how to get as lean as you, so maybe I'll get some tips. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what it comes down to, folks. Oh, I feel a little bit naked up here without any sparkles. <laughs> right. I, I feel like I should be in like a sparkle, like a sparkle apron. We could probably arrange that. Now, okay, so what are we doing here? Now, Marky Mark and I have been putting together this beautiful green curry paste. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people might think that curry to make at home might be a little bit difficult, right. but all you need is a food processor, some simple Thai flavours, and it is on the way. So we're sautéing that in the wok with a little bit of coconut oil, okay. and then once that starts to bubble away, we're going to get a bit of chicken stock and coconut cream, which is fantastic base for any curry. OK, and the reason you've used coconut oil, is that a bit of oil to use for yeah, this? Yeah, it's a really good fat to cook with. Right. Basically, when we cook with an animal fat or a fat like coconut oil, it remains what we call stable, which means it's better for your health. It doesn't go rancid. OK, nice. Good. And what have we got in here, this mixture? What is it? All right, traditional, beautiful Thai flavours. So yeah. you've got your lemongrass, ginger, garlic. Mm. We've got coriander in there. And we've smashed that up in the food processor. And because this is a green curry, we've kept everything really green. Nice. So then we're going to chuck in the capsicum. <laughs> we're going to chuck in the zucchini. We've got the kaffir lime leaves, which are a fantastic addition yeah. to any Thai cooking. So, mate, I guess with this recipe, one of the biggest things is trying to explain to everyone at home that... It is easy to cook. Right. And so it. many people think they're pretty too time poor mm -hmm. to cook. But if you take a recipe like this, it can be on the table in less than 20 minutes. Hey, um, what's Angelina Jolie like, just out of curiosity? <laughs> you know what? I think very misunderstood. Um, a lot of people make judgments like they do with anyone in media. And I think uh, we need to, set, to sit back a little bit right. and probably understand that they've got their own life going on as well. Um, and she was super lovely, you, amazingly oh, really? friendly. Oh, OK, I thought you might have got nervous around here. <laughs> no, obviously, she becomes a real person. Mark, what are you doing? Right, so I'm just chopping the vegetables. So we've yeah. got some green capsicums there, we've got some courgettes, so that's going to finish the curry, give us some nice texture. And then I'm just going to cut down the cauliflower and then we're going to blend it and make that cauliflower rice. Just, nice work. Do you smell that? I oh, know, it smells How good. Is that? Imagine That's coming good. home and smelling that in your kitchen. Mm. It could be if you gave me a spare key. That's right, OK, deal, <laughs> done. OK, easy. That was easy, wasn't it? Right. Um, but you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. I'll tell you what, um, we're going to come back and find out more about intuitive eating and Luke's philosophy on the way you should approach your hunger and the way you should approach feeding your body. So that is coming up very soon. We are back in the Mastercraft kitchen with Luke Hines. It is so nice to have you here, and this is smelling incredible. So one thing I've noticed, we've made our curry paste you know, yep. from all the ingredients that we've got. We haven't gone and bought anything, no. making it fresh. Nothing out of a jar here, and it's amazing how healthy you can start to eat when you do make things from scratch. Nice. OK, so, um, Mark, what have you been doing there? Because I heard the blender going before when Holly was doing her bit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So uh, we just cut the cauliflower. So I've just taken the stalks off, um, cut it into, like, little, well, 
rough chunks and then we just pulsed it in the robo and uh, you get this nice little sort of bits of oh, that flour, is which is beautiful. Right, and then we're going to fry that off. And okay. I brought this down to a simmer. Yeah. Chucked in the chicken thigh. Now the reason I use chicken thigh is it's really soft and tender. And mm. people use chicken breast in a lot of cooking. Right. And it can dry, dry out, out quickly. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So I've chucked that in. Good. We're okay. going to chuck the veggies in there, the capsicum and the courgettes, as you like mm. to put it. <laughs> and then we're going to fry off. I'll get you to pour that in there, brother. Yeah. Fry off the cauliflower rice to give it some colour, caramelisation mm. and a little bit of extra flavour. Everything is smelling yeah. incredible here. Look, while you're cooking, boys, I want to ask you this, Luke. What is intuitive eating? Because I know that's part of your philosophy. What does that mean? All right, intuitive eating means you listen to your body. Okay. So you eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're full. Now, I tell you, when you celebrate the most nutrient-dense foods that we've got around us, it just works. Right. So if you avoid processed foods and processed sugars, your energy doesn't go up and then down, up and then down. You celebrate good foods that have a slow release of energy and you know when you're actually hungry. Right, OK, so I'm quite fascinated by that because you use the, the term synergy a lot as well. Is that yeah. sort of all part of it, is it? Yeah, I reckon we can be the best version of ourselves right. when we find synergy between what we eat, how we move and how we think and feel. And I reckon if we can find a balance in our life, then we're one step to being happier and healthier. And he is living proof of that, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, OK. You're too kind. Stop okay. flirting with yeah, me. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're seeing straight through that, didn't you? You? <laughs> you, should, you should see him behind the scenes in the ad breaks. He can't get his hands off me. Right. He says, I'd love to see you in sparkles. <laughs> right, anyway, um, whew, I'm blushing now. It's a little, a little embarrassing. Um, I've lost my words. I don't want to say anything else. What are you doing? I'm cooking you this for dinner tonight, oh, aren't I? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you said, just leave the key out. So there you go. <laughs> right, Mark, sorry, mate. Yeah, back to Mark. Mark, Mark you better save us here. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, so I've just got some herbs to finish off the curry when it's, when it's, when it's finally done. Mm -hmm. So we've got some basil in there, a bit more coriander. Um, lemongrass. Lemongrass, we can put through the last minute. We've got some bamboo shoots and a little bit of sliced almond as well. It's going to oh, be awesome. Delicious. Oh. And this is proof that anyone can cook. Because if I can stand here and do it, <laughs> and I reckon <laughs> I if do. you can do it, <laughs> then anyone can cook. That's for sure. Nice work. And your book, Eat Clean, is out now. Not only is it packed full of fantastic recipes, but some incredible philosophies on how you should live your life as well. So uh, there you go. You can see it on screen there. Eat Clean. Um, thank you so much. We're going to come back very soon. Thank you. Come back very soon. I'll see you tonight. See <laughs> Let's get as near to Angelina Jolie as I think we ever will be and catch up with her training and food consultant Luke Hines in the Mastercraft Kitchen with Mark. How's it looking boys? It is looking fantastic. We're about to plate up guys. So what we did was reduce this down to a simmer so that the sauce is nice and thick and creamy. So you put the collie rice on there. That's going on there. Fantastic. God, you should be a there chef. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to chuck this on and we're going to bring that over to you now, mate. Do you reckon I could ask um, Mike if I could go to Don Juan with him? Oh, I reckon you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a really good show for first date. Yeah, I'll, yeah, all right, all right. Ask I'll, I'll ask him when I get over there, when I serve <laughs> yeah, him dinner. <laughs> oh. No, I'm one step ahead of you, Luke. I've already sorted the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, bring that food over. Yeah. A little bit of garnish. Love it. Wow. Nice. A little lemon juice. Okay, this is good. Oh, Look at that. Hello. One up here. <laughs> yeah, nice, One clean you, eating. Sir. Oh, thank you, Luke. You're <laughs> a good man. I hope you? I get a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is, looks delicious. I'm going to have some in just a minute, but Mark, what are you going to do tomorrow? Right, so tomorrow I've got a Friday family favourite. Someone sent a white bake recipe in, so we're making mm. white bake fritter burgers with chips. Yum. Oh, yum, my favourite. Thanks so much to all our guests today and to you for watching. And on the show tomorrow, we'll be joined by Rick Salizzo to talk about his new book, which celebrates inspirational New Zealanders. 10 out of 10, Luke. It's awesome. <laughs> We've got all your entertainment news tomorrow plus we also are bringing you a brand new segment called open homes thank you so much to all of our guests and to luke and our studio audience this is incredible don juan thank you good luck for your show we'll Yay. see you all tomorrow